of the country has been anticipating a third wave of COVID-19 and the free state has certainly seen a rise in new infections. A school had to even be temporarily closed this after 32 pupils tested positive. So uh, what is the province going to do to now cope as these numbers continue to grow? Well, let's speak to the National Education, Health and Allied Workers Union's Provincial Secretary. Always a pleasure speaking to Kaoelo Mkabisa, uh, joining us from Bloemfontein. Uh, Kaoelo, good morning to you. I imagine as Nahawu, this news of the school being closed down, 32 uh, pupils testing positive, incredibly worrying news, isn't it? I know it is indeed a worrying factor to us as the as the, as the human. So, what has your reaction been to this? Why do you think it's happened? Firstly, as, as now, we support the government's effort to to combat and arrest the spread of this uh, COVID-19 virus, and uh, we are resolute on that one. And we also encourage our members to take vaccine. However, we believe that uh, what led to the mixed reaction by the residents and community and the, the high level of the spread of this COVID-19 is an element of uh, uh, recklessness and not caring uh, about uh, the, the lives of our members and uh, society at large. And uh, we, are, we, have, we have understood that most of the community members, they do not adhere to this uh, uh, protocol uh, of COVID-19 and the, the regulations there too. So we want to believe that it is part of the reasons as to what propelled the high level of uh, infections in the, in, the, in the province. Help me unpack two issues there uh, for me, if we could, uh, Kaoelo. One is uh, you were saying that uh, there is not enough to protect your members. I imagine you're referring to PPE uh, and also people not adhering. Uh, to the COVID-19 protocols. Uh, just unpack that for me. Why, when you say that uh, they, there's not enough protection, there's not enough being done for your members, exactly what do you mean? Uh, well, I would say that it, uh, we, have, it, we have learned that uh, indeed in the province you know, there is a high level of uh, increase of this COVID-19, which we believe it is also propelled by non uh, provision of uh, protective uh, personal equipment from the side of the employer in most of the uh, institutions. Because most of our members would complain that they have not received the adequate uh, protective uh, pro uh, personal equipment from the, the employer. So it is not an easy task that uh, all our members would be safe without the relevant and adequate uh, protective personal uh, equipment. So. We were saying that uh, it is not going to be an easy uh, battle to can win if maybe the, all the employers are not prepared to, to provide our members with the uh, relevant uh, personal equipment. What engagements have you had with uh, provincial government, uh, Kahalo, to try and get on top of the situation? How aware are they of the problem, the specifics that you're giving me now, and what have they said they can do about it? No, we have made some strides to, to engage the, the government, particularly different employers in this, in this regard, uh, registering our, our discontent around the, many, around the very same issue that we have just raised of, we have just raised of the uh, very superfluous infections and high level of those infections at the different workplaces. We have also raised the concern around the issue of uh, non-existence of the OHS committees at different workplaces. Where in, in some workplaces, there are those uh, occupational health and safety committees, but they are not functional. So it is very important that we have got a, a mechanism to ensure that we monitor the, the, the functionality of the very same uh, occupational health and safety committees at workplaces, where in they will monitor the compliance of uh, the regulations at different workplaces in the province here. Yeah. All right, so the issue, it seems, uh, is the filtering down of... Uh, information from provincial government to the OHS or uh, Occupational Health and Safety is what you're talking about. That's a very micro uh, way of looking at this. Uh, Kahoyalo, let's talk a little bit about the macro problem uh, in the Free State. Do you think the Free State is going to be able to handle uh, a third wave, considering the numbers are going up? What's your opinion as Nahawu? Can the province handle uh, a third wave? Mm. <laughs> I doubt but what, what, what we can say as now is that uh, uh, notwithstanding the fact that the Free State Department of Health has employed some additional uh, health care workers, 
However, this, according to us as the UNO, does not assist the, the challenge that we are, we are confronted with, particularly the challenge of the shortage of staff. It is firstly in this regard that you are saying that uh, the Department of Health in the first state is not ready in particular, given the state of the in infrastructure within the province. We look at institutions like uh, National Hospital in Bluefontein, your Hilpron Hospital, Manap Hospital in, in Putadichaba, where we also have uh, the challenge of water supply. These are further these are further compounded by the moral of healthcare workers on the basis that the government has refusal to implement uh, the third leg of uh, resolution one of 2018. I mean, we should remember that for us, we can have a very productive force, mm. uh, workforce, in fact. Everybody should be given what is due to them. So it is from that premise that we believe that the province is not ready to, to can roll out this uh, uh, vaccine. And the challenge with the rapid rollout is that uh, the department uses same personnel from health institutions to do so. And also not utilizing the local clinics to, to ensure that all those who have registered do indeed get uh, vaccinated. We are told that uh, the department has a plan of rollout, but it is our view that this plan will not rapidly roll out in the vaccination, more so because of the reasons that uh, we have already mentioned we were also concerned about the slow pace of uh, of the rollout in, in the province in the previous uh, event during the, the, the process of uh, rollout of this uh, vaccine. All right, so many concerns coming uh, from Nahawu this morning about uh, the province's readiness uh, to handle a potential third wave. Uh, Mr. Kawelo in Ibiza, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us from the National uh, Education, Health and Allied Workers Union, or Nahawu, uh, saying the biggest issue for the uh, union in the free state, not just a filtering down of COVID vaccines, uh, but that of OHS, that's being occupational health and safety protocols at businesses around the free state to protect their workers. That seems to be the issue. It's a very uh, micro issue, and I'm sure we'll pick up on that and what companies are doing to keep their staff members safe. Uh,